My name is Sarah McBride. I'm the National Press Secretary at the Human Rights Campaign. This past week, many of us woke up the morning after the election feeling scared and filled with questions. As a transgender person, I want to speak directly to all the young transgender people and your parents who are wondering if the heart of this country is big enough to love you too, and who worry that the results of this election have emboldened bullies in your classrooms and your neighborhoods. I know you're scared and maybe feeling alone, but know that no election, no presidency, can change these simple and constant truths. You are worthy, you are beautiful, and you are loved. Since coming out as transgender in college a few years ago, I faced bullying, much of it online. And I want to share a lesson that I've learned in those experiences that brings me a little bit of comfort. Whether it's how you look, where you come from, how you fit into this world, or your sexual orientation or gender identity, everyone faces insecurities and grapples with something that society has told them they should be ashamed of. And one of the beautiful things about LGBTQ people, about our community, is that we've conquered what society has told us is wrong. We've found our power in overcoming that insecurity, in walking down the street with our head held high, and in being proud of the people we've fought to be. We've demonstrated our power in living our truth. And the bullies, they see that. They see our power and they're jealous of it. You are powerful and together we are unstoppable. We need each other now more than we have in a very long time. We need each other to fight against whatever attacks come our way. And we need each other to stand up to anyone who thinks that they can bully anyone because one of the biggest bullies just became president. We have to have each other's backs. When we see bullying, whether it's against LGBTQ people, Muslims, people of color, immigrants, women, or people with disabilities, we must call it out. There is one more simple and constant truth that remains unchanged. We, HRC, and advocates in DC and around the country, we're here for you. We care about you. And we are going to fight like hell to make sure that every single one of us is treated with the dignity, respect, and fairness we all deserve. Take care of yourselves. Tonight, the fight resumes.